Welcome to our Good Friday Meditation. I'm Chris, I'm the Interim Minister at Mutley and a special welcome to you if you're visiting us this Good Friday. It's great that you're joining us and we pray that God will bless you today. Good Friday is an important day for Christians, for followers of Jesus. It's the day when we retell the story of his crucifixion and think about his sacrifice for us. Good Friday is always only part one though. Part two is Easter Sunday and the story is always unfinished until we get to Easter Sunday. So today, Good Friday, this will be a meditation. We're going to intersperse some readings, uh, some songs and moments of quiet reflection and meditation. We're going to use words, music and pictures to reflect and I think it should take you about 45 minutes in total if you include the songs. There's a few things that you'll need a bit later on. We're going to share communion together. So you'll need some kind of bread. A bread roll would be good or just a slice of bread on a plate. Uh, and you'll need a cup or a glass of wine or juice. So do pause the video for a few minutes if you need to go and get those things. So we're going to begin our meditation on Thursday evening in the story in Gethsemane. Jesus has had a final supper around the table with his friends in the upper room. He's washed their feet and he shared his final teaching with them. Then they go out to the Mount of Olives in the evening to an olive garden that's known as Gethsemane. And Jesus asks some of his disciples to come and pray with him. So let's hear that story. I'm going to read from Matthew chapter 26, reading from verse 36. Then Jesus went with them to the olive grove called Gethsemane. And he said, sit here while I go over there to pray. He took Peter and James and John and he became anguished and distressed. He told them, my soul is crushed with grief to the point of death. Stay here and keep watch with me. He went on a little further and bowed his face to the ground, praying, my father, if it is possible, let this cup of suffering be taken away from me. Yet I want your will to be done, not mine. Then he returned to the disciples and found them asleep. He said to Peter, couldn't you watch with me even one hour? Keep watch and pray so that you will not give in to temptation. For the spirit is willing, but the body is weak. Then Jesus left them a second time and prayed, my father, if this cup cannot be taken away unless I drink it, then your will be done. When he returned to them again, he found them sleeping, for they couldn't keep their eyes open. Jesus says to them, stay here and keep watch with me. Keep watch and pray. What does it mean for us to stay, to remain here with me, watch and pray? Stay, remain, don't rush off, don't lose interest and hurry off onto other things like you normally do. In these moments now, Jesus is calling us to stay with him. As he prepares for the suffering that he will go through for us, he asks us to stay to remain, to keep watch and to pray. If you go to the playlist now, there's a Teze song there called Stay With Me, which I'd like you to listen to now. It comes with a video of images, which you can use if you want to, but it's not the images, it's the music really that I want us to experience. So you might prefer to close your eyes and just listen 
if you find that better. It's, it's quite long, it's more than five minutes. So it's up to you whether you want to listen to the whole thing or you might find that two or three minutes is enough. It keeps repeating. Um, so have a bit of freedom in how much of it you want to listen to. But however long you spend, let's spend those minutes quietly with Jesus. Stay with me. Remain here with me. Watch and pray. <laughs>